Hey guys! Welcome to the long awaited Wavy Background with Source Code Tutorial! Now, before we start, you can open a document file in the description which Kinda helps you with a tutorial if you follow along. First, let's download Visual Studio Code. Link in the description. You just have to follow along the steps and you will have it downloaded in no time. Now, go to the source folder and open the PlayState file with Visual Studio Code. When you first log in, you are given the choice to install Plusions for this file format. It is recommended you download Axe before you continue. Now, open the Dave and Dandy source code and search for the shaded file. Click the wrong button and copy and paste the code on the new file. Don't forget to change the language to the hacks one. Now, save the file on your desktop with a name shaders and after that, put it in the source folder. Forgot to mention, all the code will be in the description. Now, I will open PlayState on my Visual Studio. You don't have to do that since the code will be linked down below. Now, let's import the pulse effect. This will make the waviness active on the background. After that, create a public variable for the screen shader. Under your desk check, add this code. Just to remind you guys, everything will be in the description. Just want to say, if you are this far in the video, you are doing a great job. Now, let's create our stage. Search for the week one stage and under that, add this code. Now let's add our background image. 
It's simple. Just add up the MG image file in the background and then type the name of the image in the code. Since I've done this, I will create my own background real quick. Now don't forget, save it as a PNG file. Type the background name in the code. Now, I will continue to type. Now, paste the shaders code under the FPG one. Now, search for this, and under the last bracket, paste the code. Now let's add our stage in the new menu. You can do that by going in the preload folder and go to the stages folder. After that, copy and paste the stage file and name it with your stage. Now, let's compile a game and see if everything works as it should be. To compile a game, type one test windows in Windows PowerShell. Let's see if it works. Three, two, one, go! This is so poggers! 